Hello you guys, hope you are all doing well. Today we are going to be talking about where to find miniatures in unexpected places. Because, as you know, it could get pretty expensive putting all the details, decorating and building your house. First place that we're going to talk about is keychains. As you can see, keychains there's so many different varieties that you can actually find artifacts that you can use in your dollhouse. For example, this is a Coleman lantern. And this would be perfect for a Barbie size. It actually, you can actually change the battery and it would work. All you would have to do is to remove this section right here. In keychains, I also found this barrel. The same, I would only need to remove this part and this would be perfect for a 112 scale. Keychains key also make very good um, lighting fixtures. You, if you have seen any of our tutorials, you would know that we have used this to make several lamps. This one I just got, this is a fan <laughs> with a light bulb. I haven't opened it yet, but I hope to install it in one of the most modern houses, not the one that I'm currently working on because that one is from 1920. That's the story. Okay, now let's move on to our refrigerator magnets. Refrigerator magnets can also, you can find a variety of different things. I found this kitchen shelf. I removed the magnet so that I can use it in my house, but it has, and all of the um, items in the shelf are actually glued onto it. So this is a color that cannot be used in, in many different houses, but you get the idea. Here I found a decorative plate, and this is really, I, it's beautiful because of the detail in the painting. Um, I don't have to use it on the wall, if I remove the magnet, it's made of wood, but it actually has gold around it. It can be decorative and it can also be used as a serving plate. This is good for a 112 scale. And because people know that I like miniatures, somebody gave me this as a gift. Here is the magnet and this can actually be used. I would assume this would be better for a 116 scale. That would be a Barbie size. And look how cute this is. <laughs> Here are the bottles and it has a wine, a wine glass. Two white, two red and three white. This one came off. <laughs> but it is very cute. Now the next place where we can find uh, miniatures and it's actually one of very surprising that you could find, but these are actually buttons. And this brand actually has a lot of things. Um, if you look my, at my New Year's video, you would see that I actually built this champagne bottle and also the wine glasses that go with it from buttons. Who would, who would have thought? If you want to hang like these spoons on the wall, that would be perfect. Um, Here's a cookie cutter, little spoons. There's all kinds of things. Some things you cannot use because obviously you want you don't want two dimensional. You want three dimensional. Um, but here I found a book. This could be toys for a little girl's room. The same brand of buttons. And this one I am hoping to use if I put them together. Actually build a tiny dollhouse for the dollhouse. In the button section, these are tassels that I can use for my curtains. And while I was in the sewing section, I found this thimble. This thimble could be a perfect waste basket. It could be a lampshade. It could be a bucket. It could be all sorts of things. The place where you can find the most things is jewelry. Sometimes this jewelry will go on 50% off sale and that is the time to buy it because it's 
four dollars then you take off half is two dollars and then I use a coupon um, the little cage it actually opens and this would be perfect for a 112 scale I don't want to mess it up right now um, same brand of jewelry also has books and the books the books let's see I'm going to open this one because they actually have pages let's see these are adorable obviously I would take off the, the chain right there oh these are not the kind that you open let me pull up the ones that you do open this one came from the same brand but this one actually opens up they're adorable you need a lot of books if you want to fill up your your bookcase oh one uh, one item that I forgot to show you on the keychains this is a blue, uh, Bluetooth speaker and it's meant to be carried on a keychain and this is perfect because let's say that I pair it up with uh, one of my electronics and then I can hide it behind the piano and then someone will sit right here in front of the piano and you can manipulate it from your phone and actually make it look as if the person who's sitting at the piano is actually producing music and then people think like oh my goodness how did you do that that is amazing from jewelry beads this would make a very expensive base or vase however you say it these are garden animals for a 112 scale they would be perfect that little turtle a frog an owl this could be a copper teapot, teapot. I'll just have to add a, a couple of things to make it look like a teapot and this is a square bead and I just put a tiny little, little piece of tissue and now it's a tissue box for your bathroom or your night table this would be for a modern house since in 1920s I don't think we have disposable tissue paper again from jewelry and always buy them when they're on sale because if you don't do that then your house with its content would actually go up to be thousands and thousands of dollars expensive it has a little magnet so it closes and it has jewels in there so you could use it as a jewelry box or a treasure sh chest for the kids bedroom this is a smaller one this is a jewelry box and it has a tiny little ring in there how cute is that then for the kitchen bottles I already cut off the top part of it I already cut removed this part of and this could be your oil bottles for the kitchen here's one that looks like a, an old coca-cola this could be perfume for your vanity a smaller little lantern you could put this outside in your patio From, this is adorable this is an old-fashioned iron I'll just have to make the ironing board and then put this one on top these are kitchen utensils uh, my local uh, bead store closed it made me very sad to see them go but when they were closing they were selling actually up to 75 percent off and that's when I went and I grabbed all of these beautiful treasures this is another bottle oh wine goblets or dessert or little dessert serving dishes however you want to use them I 
think this was meant for you to put a cabbage on or some kind of jewel there, but this is going to be a serving tray. There's jewelry findings. This could be the base of a lamp. Or if I hang it from the ceiling, you turn it this way. And this one is a smaller one. You've seen me make little lamps with things like this. Check out the rest of the videos. Another one. Picture frames. So I would remove the loop. Then if I open up the bottom and lay it flat, then it would allow for the picture frame to stand on its own. Oh, look at this for your door. So this is your keyhole. This little container actually came with the book Treasure Island and it has the map in there. This is a message in a bottle. For the kids room or for the office. A gamble machine. This is so cute. You could look at the little balls and the balls of gum in there. And so those are a bunch of pieces that I got from the jewelry store, from the bead store. And then these are for the bedroom. Look at the little shoes. High heels. So I bought two of each. So you would end up with two of the same side. <laughs> so the person actually had two right feet. <laughs> But if you put them in the closet, actually nobody would notice that. Then there's these are the these are the father shoes. The little flip flaps. See, I already removed this part from this other one. Oh, actually, those don't match because this is yellow. But these do. So you put them outside of the door like they took off the shoes before coming into the beautiful house. These are the children's. So they have a big loop right here that must be removed. And the little girl slippers. I got them in gold and I got them in silver and in a couple different styles all of the shoes. They would make the closet look very nice. Okay, another place where I found miniature sometimes, somebody gave me this clock. It's very heavy, but it's a beautiful TV. I have to figure out how to remove this so that I put some kind of an image instead of the clock, but the little knobs that it has right here in the antenna, it would be perfect for a retro house, maybe like uh, mid-century and this is a gift card box a gift card holder sometimes they're they're smaller and this would be good for a Barbie size Barbie size suitcase okay you guys I hope that you enjoy this video look at all the wonderful things we got in places where one would never think to look for miniatures and if you like this video, if you think you know someone who might like it, don't be shy. Go ahead and share it. And also leave me your comments. I do enjoy reading them. And thank you very much for watching.